Welcome friends. Our next topic is analog pulse modulation. Analog pulse modulation is a type of continuous wave modulation. In this, parameters such as amplitude, duration or position of a pulse train varied in accordance with the message signal. So accordingly, in analog pulse modulation we have pulse amplitude modulation, pulse width modulation and pulse position modulation. Pulse width modulation is also called pulse duration modulation. So in PAM that is called pulse amplitude modulation, the amplitude of the periodic pulse strain with constant width called carrier signal is varied continuous in accordance with the message signal. Here practically we use flat top sampling process with the help of sample and old circuit. Next, in PWM or PDM, amplitude remains constant, only the width of each pulse in a periodic pulse strain varies continuously in accordance with the message signal. So here, the width of the pulse strain varies according to the message signal, then the process is called pulse width modulation or pulse duration modulation. And in last, that is pulse position modulation. The amplitude and width of each pulse remains constant, only the position is changed according with the message signal. So, in PAM, width and position of each pulse is fixed, only amplitude varies according to the message signal. In PWM or PDM, position and amplitude remains constant, only the width or duration changes. And in pulse position modulation or PPM, both amplitude and width remains constant, only there is a variation of position of each pulses. Now, we first talk about pulse amplitude modulation that is called PAM. As we know that in PAM, the amplitude of continuous regular space pulses are varied in proportion to the corresponding sample value of message signal. PAM process is similar to the flat top sampling method. In this, the top of each pulse remains flat by using sample and hold circuit. Here, G function of T is PAM signal corresponding to the amplitude level of modulating signal MT. This PAM signal having pulse width equals to capital T and sampling period TS. And for the generation of PM signal, two operations are involved, that is called sample and hold operation. In these operations, we have instantaneous sampling of modulating signal and lengthening the duration of each sample or pulse. So, for instantaneous sampling of message signal, there is a criteria of sampling with sampling rate of Fs. This is called sampling frequency and it is equals to 1 upon Ts, where Ts is called sampling period and this is according to the sampling theorem, which says that Fs is always greater or equals to twice of Fm for the recovery of the original baseband signal. And in order to avoid excess use of channel bandwidth, we can increase the duration or width of each pulse, so that each pulse occupies some finite value of T. As the value of T increases, that is width, the channel bandwidth decreases, since bandwidth is inversely proportional to pulse duration, capital T. So, for the generation of PAM signal, there is an involvement of instantaneous sampling as well as lengthening the duration of each sample. That is called sample and hold operation. So, in the analysis of PAM, we require sample and hold filter. Mathematically, PAM signal is expressed as G function of T equals to summation N equals to minus infinity to infinity 
एम फंक्शन ऑफ एन टी एस इंटू एच टी माइनस एन टी एस वेयर टी एस इज कॉल सैम्पलिंग पीरियड एंड एम फंक्शन ऑफ एन टी एस इज द सैम्पल वर्जन ऑफ मॉड्यूलेटिंग सिग्नल विच इज ऑप्टेन बाय सैम्पलिंग प्रोसेस एट टी इक्वल्स टू एन टी एस एंड एच टी एच टी इज कॉल्ड स्टैंडर्ड रेक्टेंगुलर पर्ल्स ऑफ यूनिट एम्पलीट्यूड एंड ड्यूरेशन ऑफ कैपिटल टी दैट इज शोन इन फिगर and according to the expression of pm signal this standard rectangular pulse shifted equally both positive and negative time axis and the amplitude of this standard pulse varies according to the sample value of modulating signal so after using sample and hold filter we get flat top pm signal mathematically pm signal is obtained using ideal sampling initially we take any arbitrary baseband signal mt and a periodic unit impulse train as function of t and it is equals to summation n equals to minus infinity to infinity del t minus nts where del t minus nts is time shifted delta function and after sampling at t equals to nts we get m del t which is simply the multiplication of m nts and s function of t in place of s function of t we can write summation del t minus nts with a limit n equals to minus infinity to infinity so the sample version of message signal that is m del t is equals to summation m n t s into del t minus n t s with limit n equals to minus infinity to infinity now for the generation of pm signal that is pulse amplitude modulation we perform some modification in the modification we take a standard rectangular pulse h function of t after taking the convolution of m del t and standard rectangular pulse ht we get pam signal so convolution of m del t and ht is equals to integration m del tau ht minus tau d tau with a limit tau equals to minus infinity to infinity in place of m del tau we can write summation m nts into del tau minus n ts and to solve this expression we take del tau minus nts within the integration as it has variable tau so after this arrangement we get convolution of m del t and ht equals to summation n equals to minus infinity to infinity m nts integration del tau minus nts h t minus tau d tau here tau limit is from minus infinity to infinity now within the integration with the variable of tau we use shifting property of delta function and according to this property convolution of del t and h t is equals to h t which means the convolution of any function with delta function is equal to the same function so del t convolution ht is equals to integration del tau ht minus tau d tau but in above equation we have shifted delta function that is del tau minus nts so the convolution of del tau minus nts and ht is equals to ht minus nts that is called shifting property of delta function so in place of integration term we can write h t minus n t s and equation becomes m del t convolution h t equals to summation n equals to minus infinity to infinity m n t s into h t minus n t s and what is this summation this is p a m signal denoted by g function of t here pm signal composed of shifted rectangular pulse but the amplitude of each rectangular pulse varies according to the sample value of modulating signal 